Hey folks, nice to have you here. After posting a video a few weeks ago about adjusting the center line, when using the TT Artisan 2.8 100mm bubble bokeh and M42 adapter, today follows my review of this particular lens. In 1896, optician Hugo Meyer and businessman Heinrich Schetze founded the Optische Mechanische Industrieanstalt, Hugo Meyer and Company in Görlitz, Germany. In the post-war period, Meyer Optik, abbreviated DDR in the German Democratic Republic, manufactured the Helioplan, as a successor to the double anastigmat, under the name VEB Feinoptisches Werk Görlitz. In 1952, magnesium fluoride anti-reflection coating was introduced. During this time, the company produced the famous Trioplan triplets, the fast Primoplan lenses and the Telemegger long focal length lenses. Many Meyer optic lenses regularly receive the highest quality award for DDR products. Due to the integration of Meyer optic into the VEB Pentakin combine, the Meyer optic imprint on the lenses was history after 1971. In the mid 1980s, Veb Carl Zeiss Jena took over Veb Pentakin and with it Meyer optic. As a result of this centralization, Meyer optic increasingly lost technical competence, and some products were discontinued in favor of competing models from Carl Zeiss Jena. In addition, many machines necessary for the production of high-quality zoom lenses could not be obtained from other socialist countries or from Western countries until 1989. At the end of 2018, OPC Europe, based in Bad Kreuznach, Germany, acquired the rights to Meyer Optik and its lens designs, after a Koblenz-based company reproduced old lens invoices between 2014 and 2018. As a specialist in high-precision aspherical and spherical glass lenses, OPC has now entered the end-user market with the relaunch of Meyer Optic. With the help of its own technological know-how and synergies in the field of lens production, existing products have been optimized, many have been developed from scratch, production processes have been professionalized, and the company Meyer Optic Gurlitz has been given a new lease of life. Trioplan lenses are based on Cook's triplet design of 1893. One of these lenses is the original Trioplan from Meyer Gurlitz, the Trioplan 2.8 100mm, which was produced from 1956 until sometime in the 1970s. OPC Europe has revived numerous lens accounts, and now offers them for sale to photo enthusiasts. The original Trioplan 2.8 100mm had good center sharpness, and could produce bubble bokeh in certain situations, which was actually due to an optical flaw. However, this lens became very popular in the age of DSLR, and especially mirrorless digital cameras. Used prices for this lens sometimes reach the 500 euro mark. But let's take a look at the Chinese replica from TT Artisan. Looking at the manufacturer's MTF chart, the lens is said to have very good correction of astigmatism and lateral aberrations in the center, and towards the center of the image, excellent contrast, and quite good sharpness at f8. No field curvature would be expected at any aperture. Another plus would be that sharpness and contrast should not drop at all, until about the center of the image, and should only deteriorate moderately from the center to the corners. I like the mechanical quality very much. Focusing is done manually with a good resistance, that also allows for sensitive focusing. The shortest focusing distance is unfortunately only 0.9 meters. The aperture is set manually, the aperture ring is easily accessible on the front of the lens. 13 aperture blades ensure a nearly perfect circular aperture at every f-stop. From f2.8 to f11, there are click stops between the two full apertures. From f11 to f22, there are no half apertures in between. The aperture ring clicks smoothly and clearly. Again, I really like this lens. As expected, there is no in-lens image stabilization, and no EXIF or other information is sent to the camera. The lens is quite small for a 100mm, and is made entirely of metal. It weighs about 307 grams. The scale markings for aperture values, distance, in M and foot, depth of field scale, lens name and manufacturer names are engraved and filled with paint. The lens is shipped in the M42 mount only. If you don't want to use it on an analog camera with an M42 thread, you will need an adapter. Make sure that the adapter is adjustable. Otherwise you may not be able to see the aperture and focusing distance from above. Unfortunately, the centerline cannot be customized for analog M42 cameras. All adapters for your mirrorless digital cameras, 
but also for all Canon EOS models, should be adaptable. On any analog Canon EOS or DSLR camera, you can use the lens via an adapter without built-in lens system at any distance up to infinity, without restrictions. The focus ring has a passable resistance, not very stiff, but not very soft either. The lens cap is made of metal and screws into the 49mm filter thread, unlike most other lens caps. A lens hood is not included. I myself have been using a protective filter for all my lenses, whether it be a UV blocking filter, a skylight filter, or a clear filter, since my former job in the photo retail business in 1987. These filters have saved me a few lenses. And of course a lens hood is a must. Here I use a used metal lens hood from Fujika for 100 or 135mm lenses. This lens shade is made of metal like the lens, has a high quality finish, and fits the lens very well. If you don't have a suitable lens shade or filter at home, you can buy one on the second-hand market. Just make sure you don't pay more than the price of the lens, which is about 180 euros. If you want to learn more about adapting M42 adapters for use with the TT Artisan 2 8 plus 100mm bubble bokeh, check out my other videos on the subject. I have linked them here in the upper right corner, or you can visit my YouTube channel Aperture 1.4, or my homepage of the same name. But how does the lens perform optically? As always, I will show you some unprocessed raw files and comment on them from my point of view. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you the final processed images. I think, that practical examples are at least as interesting as looking at test charts. Lens Distortion The TT Artisan 2.8 100mm has negligible pincushion distortion, which normally does not need to be corrected. Since the photographic application is not architectural photography, and therefore this lens does not require perfect distortion correction, such a correction via software is not necessary in almost all applications. And even without correction, this lens performs very well in this area. Chromatic Aberrations Sagittal chromatic aberration is barely visible in the images, a very good performance. However, longitudinal chromatic aberration is clearly visible as green and, or purple fringing at f2.8. It can be reduced by stopping down and disappears at f5.6 to f8. Contrast The lens delivers low contrast images at open aperture. Stopping down to at least f4 helps. But, who cares about this in the intended applications? And further image processing on the computer can improve the contrast. Corner Sharpness The sharpness performance is poor in the image corners at f2.8, but the bokeh is convincing. Sharpness If you need maximum sharpness over a large area of the image, although this should not be the main application of such a special lens, I recommend stopping down to at least f8, better to f11. From f16, the sharpness performance in the center of the image decreases, but it improves again in the corners of the image. f11 seems to be a good compromise to me.
Bubble bouquet. Of course, the lens is bought for its special bubble bouquet. And this is its major discipline, which it masters perfectly. If you like this bouquet, you can get a small, lightweight and very well-made lens, with the desired bouquet effect for about 180 euros. And even without the bubbles in the background, the lens delivers a very soft, homogeneous bouquet. Would I buy this lens again? Absolutely. I really like the 100mm focal length and it's closer to my style of photography than other shorter focal lengths, that can also produce bubble bouquet. And for under 200 euros, you get exactly the bouquet you want. In this discipline, the lens is convincing. Its build quality is also high. Stop down to 8 to 11, you can also use the lens for other applications, especially if you invest some time in post-processing. At the end of the video I will show you some examples taken with the star of the video, the TT Artisan 2.8 100mm bubble soap bouquet. Thanks again for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video and stay healthy.